Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Video Transition. As always, I'm using the 1920x1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own settings. Now, import your video footage into the project. You can add as much as video clips you want. Place your video clips on the timeline, and here choose the video clip you want to appear after the first video, for this project, I want to play this video after the first video. But unfortunately, this video clip is not fitting in my entire frame. So right click on it. Go to the transform, and then select fit to comp. It will fit your video clip to the frame. You can also do this by changing the scale value of the same clip. Now, choose the frame which you want your video should start appearing first. And then trim out the video to that particular frame. Here is the result, which will appear after the first clip. Now go to the starting frame of this video clip. And then make a duplicate of it. Let's rename all of these layers first, so that we can find them easily. I am going to hide this top layer as we are going to use it later. Now rename this bottom layer as the mask, and then right click on this layer, go to the time and select freeze frame. It will freeze the selected video clip for this frame. So there will be no motion here. Now, make sure you are at the first frame of this video clip, and then select it. Now go to the tools, and select pen tool. Here we are going to cut out this person using the mask. If you press and hold the spacebar on your keyboard, you can temporarily activate the hand tool. See, I told you. Now start creating a mask around it. For adding the curve to your mask, simply drag it, until you get the perfect curve. Here you will see these handle. Now the mask path will follow this handle, so you need to adjust it. Press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard. And drag the handle to something here. Cool. Keep remember this, and then start adding a mask around this person. Also, this mask doesn't have to be perfect, you can ignore the small details. But if you are a perfectionist, then you should spend some time in creating a perfect mask. Cool. This looks good to me. Now click here to hide this mask. Then select the same layer, and make another duplicate of it. We will use this layer as the background for this person. Now place this layer below the mask layer, and then press M. Here change the mask to subtract. And then your background will start appearing. Let's animate it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the linear wipe. We will apply the same transition on both layers, so they can appear individually. First, change the wipe angle to negative 45 degrees. And then change the transition completion to 100%. Make sure you are in the first frame and then add a keyframe on it. Now go to around 1 second forward, and change the value back to 0%. Here you can see this transition in the background, let's animate this person as well.
apply the same linear wipe on this layer and change the angle to negative 45 degrees. Here is the trick. Change the transition completion value so that it will wipe your object only. Now add a keyframe on it. Go to one second forward and change the value so that your object can appear. Let's add a feather to it, so the edges will be soft. Add the feather value to the background layer as well. Here we have this transition, let's adjust the timing of it. Drag this background layer to the right, so that it will start animating after the main object. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's select both layers, and press U, to open keyframes, now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Perfect. Now select the top layer, and turn on the visibility of it. Now place the starting point of this layer to the end keyframe of the background layer, and then this transition will look like this. Let's add desaturation effect to it. Go to the layers, and create a new adjustment layer. Make sure to place it on the top, and then rename it as CC. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the hue saturation. Apply it onto the same adjustment layer, and let's adjust it. Go to the beginning of the transition, and then add a keyframe onto the channel range. Go to the frame where transition starts appearing, and then change the master saturation value to negative 100. It will make the video black and white. Now go to the frame where the transition is complete, and then change the master saturation value to zero. Press U, to open keyframes, and adjust the placement of these keyframes. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Ram preview this, and our transition is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.